Okay, so it's raining today, but it's the perfect day to explain our water catchment system. So the gutters are on the side of the house and then the back. So there's no downspouts. They go into this three inch, uh, this is just PVC pipe. So they all go in, this one comes down the side and they all go under the house, which then they all meet uh, right there. And then this is a clean out. So then the three inch pipe goes all the way down down to the tank, which in some of our other videos you can see this tank, so um, that's what this is. This is a 10,000 gallon water tank. So right now it's full, so see it's overflowing. So this overflow keeps the water at the, at the proper level and then it just kind of comes out and overflows down into the jungle area. 10,000 gallon tank, so it's a metal tank. It's got a liner, like a, it's got like a pool liner almost in it. There's sand and stuff on the bottom and then it's got a cover. So then that pipe here is this one it, under the rocks and goes this way. And then there's another clean out over there. So what I can do is I can open that clean out by the house, open this clean out and I can flush all the, like if there's rocks or leaves or debris in the, in this big three inch line, I can dump it out. So then it just comes up. And then there's a sock that goes like there's like two 90s and it just falls into the tank and then there's a sock that um, keeps like debris and stuff out of the tank so kind of the way this thing works too is if you look back at the house the top of the gutters is about two to three feet higher than the top of this so that way it keeps the water in the tank so then that's three inch pvc so this is just um this is one inch PVC and this is about, I would say it's about six inches off the bottom of the tank. So when this comes down and then it just follows the same, uh, the same area back over to the house. So then this is that one inch PVC. There's a shutoff valve that comes out of the tank and then it just comes up and then it comes into this, uh, this cabinet here, which this side is propane. And I built a little lock here. That way the kids can stay out of the water side. So then that one inch PVC pipe comes out right here and then it comes down into this pump. So this is just a shallow well, um, shallow well pump. It's got a pressure gauge on it. We keep it about 60 PSI. So then it pumps water into this tank, which is, it's a seven gallon um, tank. So it's, it's got a, a bladder in here and there's air pressure on this side and it just keeps keeps the pump from running all the time. So then it that comes one inch PVC here and then it changes to three quarter C PVC, which is for like drinking. There's another shutoff valve here. And then it goes into two filters. These are like sediment filters, just to um, two different like microns so that it filters everything. So then it comes over here and then there's there's a draw off here, which we can pull all the water out of the house with this, like if I shut the valves off. Or it gives us sediment filter water, but not um, through this filter. So then it comes up through here. This is just a, this is just like a, it's like a water meter. It just uh, monitors how much water we go through. And this meter is for this it's called a quantum filter. It's like a, it's almost like a UV filter, but it doesn't use light or anything. It's just a, basically a chemical filter. So that's only good for, for a hundred thousand gallons. So that's what this um, water meter does is it, we can monitor how much water has gone through that filter to know when to change it. And this is just like a lead that you can hook up and it'll, I don't really know how that works. So that's just kind of there for now. So then it goes through there into there and then it goes back into the house through there through CPVC. So the pump just kind of turns on and off as it's needed. This filter, or I mean, excuse me, not the filter, this tank keep monitors the water. So that way pump's not always on and it, it, we can just turn the faucets on or whatever. And it's, it keeps it that way. So then it also goes over here, which is a, um, it's a gas fired or it's propane fired instantaneous hot water heater. So these, at least here in the area we live in Hawaii, these are, um, these are the code. You can't have a tank type heater because of the water, uh, the, 
catchment tank in the back. They don't want sediment sitting in like tank water heater. So you have to have a um, instantaneous. 